How's it going, peeps? This is gonna be a quick tutorial, I promise. Um, if it's longer, it's only because I'm addressing Steam and Epic Games. Um, a lot of people recently had been requesting I do a tutorial on power hits. And an example, I'll just do one power hit right here. So, this is like a common thing, lower rank players question is how can I hit the ball so hard and it's really simple and I'm gonna try and explain my best but when you have a situation where the ball is bouncing so like this it's gonna bounce you want to wait until right after it bounces to hit it and that's gonna give you the most power and the best way I like to um, show this is by doing back wall reads. So I'll sit on the back wall and if you have Baki's mod, you can click one and the ball will come to you and let it hit the wall and then bounce off and then flip towards it. And I'll try and show again. This one was gonna be really fast because it's far, so I might not be able to do it well. But you kind of want to match right when the ball is about to hit the wall and flip into it or right after the ball hits the wall flip into it and the same applies for anything on the ground so if this is going to bounce you want to hit it right after it bounces and that's going to give you the most power so i say that for steam this will be easier to practice because what i do personally is i hit the ball over there i sit on my back wall and I click one to pass it, and then I try and get a clanger. Sometimes they can be hard to read, the ones that are like right above you. So if you get like an angle on it, oh, that one's gonna be low. You can practice even awkward situations like that, but I'll go a little higher. And you see how I wait for it to bounce off the wall, or I hit it basically right as it's hitting the wall. And the same goes for ground hits. If you want power on your ground hits, Uh, I'm trying to figure out how I can do this. I'm going to pass it forward a little bit and then pass it up. So right after that ball bounces, you want to flip into it. So the ball is going to bounce now and then I flip into it. And a big thing in also getting power is having a high speed when you're hitting the ball. That of course is going to carry faster momentum when you hit the ball, but you can also do things such as like ground pinches and that's why I recommend hitting it as soon as the ball hits the ground or the wall or kind of right after because if you, you can get really lucky and you can ground pinch the ball if, um, if you hit it at the right time and you see for sure do this all the time sometimes jazer but you can do things like i can't really do ground pinches very well <laughs> but you can ground pinch and get fast hits off that too other than that people always ask like i mean even if it's not a bounce how do i hit it hard it's just how you hit the ball on your car so if you don't know if i were to hit the ball with the stomach or bottom side of my car like this ball's not gonna go very far but if I do that same thing and use my nose it went a little bit further and so you add speed to that speed and use my nose and the ball goes a lot farther so the placement of where you hit the ball on your car really does matter commonly if you're going for like a flip reset you may bring the ball up the wall and hit it and then you get like this wimpy touch I'll try and do like a better example where it actually hits like the bottom of my car so I got my flip reset there but you can see it doesn't really hit the ball very hard and that's just because the bottom of your car isn't very good for power the side of your car isn't really good for power either the best points of power are on your front left and front right, I mean, there's actually a video, some guy in Rocket League proves and disproves things. 
Technically, no, hitting it with a corner does not create more power than hitting it forward, just blank on. Um, however, people feel more precise when they hit it with a corner. So if I were to go for a dribble and like I hit it like that with a like a corner hit. Let's see if I can pass it to myself. So you can see there I do like a corner hit. That's technically not any better or faster than just going straight on. It's just that people feel more, I guess, uh, pinpointed on the ball. And I don't, I don't want to go into too much depth because this is something that is pretty simple to learn. So ball bounces, smack it right away. If the ball's coming at you. That's the only problem with Baki's mod is it will fucking fly. So I'm going to just try and get it slightly away from me. I'll pass it. Wait for it to hit and then playing it. So I'm going to wait for it to bounce and then playing high. I'm going to click four, kind of pass it, and then go back a little bit. Then click one to pass it. And you see, like, I'm waiting almost hitting it right when it lands but also right after it bounces sometimes and this is the best way to get power and the best scenario like real scenario I would say this is very useful for is backward reads and that's where I say PC players that are on Steam use Baki's mod and practice these backward reads because this is very useful for getting out of ranks such as like diamond so if I pass the ball to myself being able to clang it like that, that's huge. That will completely change your rank. Backboard clears are something that really differs diamonds from champs, I would say. So this one's a little low. And you kind of just do this over and over and adjust and get used to it. So this one's slower and I missed that one. I was. Sometimes with the slower ones, I like to take up the wall, so instead of pinching it, I kind of do something like that, where I can follow it up. So let's do one more. And sometimes you may have to find that you have to jump into it. Sorry if you can hear the one more guys going. Um, so I know Epic Games players at the moment and of course console players, you do not have the ability to use Baki's mod. So what else can you do? I recommend doing things as popping like that, pop up the ball, let it bounce, and then practice trying to gain high speed. Or you can do things like this, hit it off the back wall and right when it bounces, that was I was a little far away from that. But even though I'm not waiting for it to like bounce before I hit it, I'm still practicing hitting it with the right part of my car. So it's gonna bounce. I'm gonna hit it with the right part of my car and we'll get a little bit harder of a hit. Um, there are training packs I would recommend. So let's see. If we go into training custom ground shots, um, I don't know if I want to do that one. Let's give it a try. Let's see if we can do some power shots and ground shots. So you can practice with this. There's different things you can do like this. I jumped into it. I didn't flip, I just jumped. I drove into it and hit it and jumped. And that can give you huge power. Like, oh, look how high I was able to hit that. Just from jumping into it. If I were to just drive into it too, you can get much power. Jumping sometimes gives it a little bit more. But I mean, just look at that. I'm not, this is nothing mechanical, nothing. It takes a little bit of practice. I'm just driving into the ball. I'm driving into the ball with speed and I'm able to clear the ball higher like that. And that's just stuff you get used to the further down the ranks. So once again, Look at that, I'm able to hit crossbar without even jumping. So take a look into some of these training packs and see if you can learn how to get some good like speeds. 
I know I'm not scoring these, I'm just kind of showing that's like kind of a ground pinch. What I'm talking about is wait until the ball bounces and then cling it right after. That's going to give you so much power. But yeah, these are, this was just a simple tutorial I wanted to make for a couple people that did ask. Power shots, people think it's a lot harder than it is. Wait for the ball to land on the ground and then hit it or try and match it when it's hitting the ball. And if that doesn't make sense, go look at all of those backboard reads I just did. I'll do a couple more. So I pass it to myself. That one was low, so I'm going to let it go a little bit further because the further the ball is, the more power it will have. So I'll do one with insane power and see if I can read this. Yeah. So I waited for that ball to hit the backboard and then I flipped into it. It's going to give you the most power. <laughs> I won't drag this video on, but if you guys did like this video and you found it helpful, feel free to leave it a like. Um, if you like my content, feel free to subscribe. If you want to join the Discord, the Discord link should be down in the description below. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next video.